As an anti-aging medical doctor and a specialist in functional medicine, many people come to me complaining of gut health related issues. What do I mean by gut health? Either constant indigestion, bloating, constipation, irritable bowel symptoms that may manifest itself as inability to lose weight, energy levels, drive levels, and even skin rashes. So as a functional medicine specialist, I really get deeper into your gut health. And what I mean by that is I don't perform a colonoscopy or an endoscopy. That's a total different procedure. What I look at is possible triggers that may be precipitating your health issues. So, for example, you may have some food allergies or food sensitivities that you have no clue exist. So I've seen patients have gluten sensitivity and not necessarily a gluten full allergy known as celiac disease. So when I look at your health and I review your health history, sometimes I order a more detailed comprehensive food allergy panel. I use a specialty lab that really analyzes at the cellular level all the food groups, the major food groups. And after that I can determine if you have some sensitivities that are causing your gut to be out of balance. So that's the most common reason why one would suffer from what is known as leaky gut. So yeah, your gut is actually leaky. By that we mean foods are not being properly absorbed, they're not being properly digested, and as a result, your immune system is being upregulated or on fire, and that's creating an autoimmune-like response or an inflammatory response in your body that can cause problems like joint pains, muscle aches, and rashes. Interestingly enough, I've seen patients who have chronic infections that they don't even know exist, uh, such as Epstein-Barr virus or Lyme's disease, and these viruses can also cause an imbalance in your gut health. And one thing that's often overlooked that really drives me crazy is diet. If you're eating an excessive amount of carbohydrates, and by that I mean the poor carbs, you know which ones I'm talking about, that's going to also inflame your gut. It's interesting how your gut is really tied into other parts of your body. So that if your cortisol levels are high from excessive amount of stress, that's also going to cause you to have leaky gut. Let me talk about how this whole leaky gut thing came about. Our intestinal wall lining is a single cell layer lining. So if you could picture box, box, box with really tight, tight spaces between those cells, those are called tight junctions. And the intestine really just selectively allows certain things to get through those tight junctions. But if you're not digesting your foods properly, if you have food sensitivity issues, if perhaps you don't have enough stomach acid, you perhaps don't have enough digestive enzymes, or you're hormonally imbalanced, or you're micronutrient depleted from vitamins being low, or you have excessive amount of stress, not enough exercise, or even too much exercise, those spaces can get larger. And when they get larger, that leads to what's called leaky gut symptoms. So by addressing your health, by analyzing your gut, I can identify these triggers. And the treatment plan basically includes removing that trigger. So whether it's an infection or whether it's a food allergy, I identify it. I then replace your gut with the amount of stomach acid it may need or digestive enzymes it may need to help balance it. And then I put the right prebiotics and probiotics in your body to restore your gut health. And after that, you will notice a marked improvement in your bloating, your indigestion, your constipation. And I've seen patients even with psoriasis get better. As a functional medicine doctor, I understand that 70% of our immune system comes from your gut. So taking a detailed analysis of your gut will be key in improving your health.